Okay, hello humans, and today I'm going to show you how to make this redstone contraption right here. Um, and this basically acts like a key. Now, I didn't make this myself. Um, Seth Bling did, um, and he didn't have like a pr proper tutorial on how to make it, so I thought I'd make it from what I saw and uh, make a YouTube video from that. Uh, so... I'll quickly show you what it does. So this is basically the key. I made a map and then I put blocks around the place to make it look like a picture. I said Logan's house, Dremel Games, blah blah blah. I had a random gun and a door. And then I said A level clearance down the bottom. I'm not sure if that's spelt correctly. But as you can see, it's off in that direction and you can probably see a bit of it. Yeah, over there. Um, so what you do... I'll quickly show you if you put something in that isn't a um, that isn't the key. So we want to look down at this bit of redstone down there. So if we throw that in quickly, come down here, that does nothing. So um, when we put the proper key in, um, that'll flicker. That'll go on and off, um, which is very good. Uh, which we can use with stuff like um, OR gates or just whatever. You can use it for NOR latches, etc. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Now what you're going to want is first of all a map. So you want to go into miscellaneous and then find an area uh, that you want to put on the map so when you do that it'll obviously make a map for you and as you can see there's little bits on the map uh, from over there um, so if I want to say add a bit of dirt saying hi so if I go one two three four five six seven eight um, That'll go there, one, two, three, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, blah, blah, blah. Then I move over here and do this. Then when the map updates, you'll be able to see hi. And that's basically what I did loads over there but with like just a whole lot of different things so now that we've got that um, we can now start on the actual redstone so you can use whatever blocks you want you can uh, first of all I'll put this into our inventory so we don't accidentally delete it um, you can use any blocks you want um, redstone you need redstone torches you need repeater you need dispenser, a dispenser you need, a few pr pressure plates, um, a fence, and I believe that's it. Oh, and some ice. Um, okay, so what you can do first is put the dispenser down, then after you've done that, put two pieces of ice down. Now, I'm also going to get some glass because that sort of shows you what's happening. Um, so, what I'm going to do here is put a little section around the dispenser. And I'm going to dig down too so we can easily get the stuff that's in there. Um, now, make a little section that lets us go out of here like this. So, we can easily get back out. Now this is very important. I'll actually remove this to start off with. But you need to put a half slab in there. Um, that basically pushes the um, things that pop out of the dispenser down so it doesn't just go flying everywhere. Um, so yeah, you need that. Um, then we can sort of seal this off a bit. Now we want a pressure plate here then we want one redstone there 
coming up. Then we want to put another redstone there and a torch here. This will be our output, but you can't use it at the moment because it's at the wrong state sort of thing. Um, so we have to put two repeaters there, put them both on four um, because we need a delay or else when the item comes through it'll automatically give an output and we don't want that because then if it's the wrong item then it'll still give an output which again we don't want. Um, so once we've done that uh, we want to build up a tiny bit here and then we want to get our fence put it around there and then bring our blocks around here now we want to put a pressure plate on this and we want to bring this up a bit more uh, probably best two more to there and then sorry for the random do sounds um, and then once you've done that you'll want to do that there uh, then like this sort of thing um, this isn't the best way of concealing it in but it is a fairly good way um, well it's not the worst uh, and of course you need somewhere to stand on can remove that block there so it, it doesn't really matter if you can see the redstone through there you can make it a bit higher if you want it to uh, if you want to conceal all the redstone uh, now what you want to do here is put one repeater here on you know just normal uh, ticks put a redstone there bring that up and then you want to bring this up to take out the middle one so it's kind of like just this gap in the middle of this step up and then you want it so that it's sort of like this sort of shape here like a very weird C I guess um, and the reason why you want to do that is because then you can bring um, a repeater through here which will then pass the signal to this block which will then pass the signal to this redstone and also what we want to do is, um, I guess we can fill this up, we'll have to do it on the other side. Um, and what we'll also want to do is bring some redstone from the side of that and we're basically done. Well, we are done, unless you want to um, do other stuff. Oh wait, no, sorry, I forgot about that torch there and redstone there that inverts the signal um, so when we do this uh, first of all I'll get my maps from over here oh wait no we need to duplicate the map that we just made so how we do that is we go to miscellaneous miscellaneous can't remember um, and then get a whole lot of empty maps now the first few are going to be a bit annoying trying to get but that's okay. So we go into here, we put your map in there, empty map in there, and then you just keep on doing this until you get a stack. And then once you get a stack, it'll be a lot easier to duplicate them. Um, 32, there we go. And then we can just do that and then put a 64 there and keep going. Once you've done that, um, come over to your bit here and then open up your dispenser and put a few stacks in there. Um, it's always good to put a few stacks because yeah, it just is. <laughs> okay, so when you get your map um, and you throw this in it connects to that which means that doesn't get a signal which means it um, it's sort of like goes a bit silly I don't know it doesn't go a bit silly but see it powers this it keeps that powered um, 
for five minutes, which means if you try and do it again, it won't do it because that's already powered, so that won't give it another, um, it won't power it again, basically. Um, so yeah, that's how it works. So if I try and uh, do this, uh, yep. So as you can see, oh, sorry, I need to get rid of these ones. Um, okay, yeah, so when I throw this in here, the map that shoots out will go on this pressure plate, which means that this will stay powered, which means that won't be able to shoot out any more maps. So if I try and spam it, then it just won't do anything. Um, so that will be just a limit of five minutes, like on a iPod, I guess, um, how if you get it wrong a few times, it'll lock for a few minutes. And that's basically the same thing, which is quite cool in my opinion. Um, so good job Seth Bling. Um, and so things that you can do with this sort of system is if we want to make a gnaw latch, um, so I'll just get some redstone and some redstone torches and a few blocks. So if I bring this out here, and do something like this, then I can make a quite cool contraption. So first of all, I need to put it to that one so this torch is on. Um, and then we bring a few stuff over there. Now what we want to do here is bring a redstone line out here. Um, now, when we do that, that'll do that. Okay. So, what we probably want to do here is bring a redstone line out here and then invert it. And actually, I'll bring that back one. So, this is how we can make a door. Um, so, if we put a block there this will be one lower than the floor, but that's okay now, I've got to remove that. Um, this will be one lower than the floor, it doesn't matter if these blocks are powered. Um, so yeah, that that's just one lower than the floor. Uh, you Obviously this is just going to be a quick demonstration of what you can sort of do with this. So if I get a iron door, I can put that on there. and then put blocks around that. Uh, now if I want to put a button say here then I'll bring that down there. And this is just a quick demonstration, I'm not gonna like build a house or something. Um, so what this basically is going to do if we want to put a button here, wooden button, cool. Um, so what this is going to do is if we put the wrong thing down here, obviously this won't open, and that'll have a five minute lock on it. Um, so let's just grab the stuff, and then if we put the correct key down, our door will open. Um, and what's really cool about that is we don't have to do anything there, we can just lock it. The only annoying thing though is if we throw down say some redstone it'll work again because we already have maps down there which means when that shoots that'll group up with them. So that's a little caution thing for that and this button no matter what always locks it, um, which is quite good. Um, so yeah, that's first of all how to make Seth Bling's key 
lock, I don't know what you'd call it, um, and quick demonstration of what you can do with it. Um, so thanks for watching guys, and bye!